everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we have the P. Louise budget box. This will be April's budget box. I get so confused. I think because we're in May now, it will be April's budget box. So if you don't already know, P. Louise does a budget box. So £30 every month. I think you pay a pound postage. I took out a six month subscription when she first did subscriptions with it and I've really been enjoying the boxes that I've received so far. I have filmed them all and I do have a playlist so if you want to click back and watch any of those then it will all be linked down below in the description box. If you are new here before we get started I do have two little pugs. They're snoring and all sorts of noises are coming from them underneath the camera. Also I am suffering with such a sore throat so if I do sound a little bit funny I am struggling to talk a little bit so just just so you know what that is. Yeah, a little bit about P. Louise budget box. She was previously releasing a budget box every month that you could just buy as a one-off and you can still buy them as a one-off. Um, she was doing that previously just so people who didn't necessarily have the most amount of money to spend on things like makeup would be able to experience some of the newness and the goodies that she releases and there's very very often new releases in in these boxes so for 30 pounds you usually are getting such good value for your money there's not one box that i've received as of yet that i've been disappointed in I always keep them a surprise i never like to look at spoilers and we've gone back to the original budget box this month last month and the month before we had slightly bigger boxes for like um easter and stuff so let's get in as always packaging is always super beautiful and when we open it up peggy is snoring so loud i'm so sorry as always we have the little card that she does which is just a, a budget box little card some people like to collect these sorts of things and then you've got your little receipt and then here is a little sneak peek of the goodies that we've got so first off we have oh wow okay so first off we have a p louise pro pick your pan so it's a four pan uh, empty magnetic palette so we had one of these before a three pan one for the blushes that she brought out recently again this will be brand new i haven't seen it before and then it looks like we've got some bronzers to go in there wow okay so with that she sent us four bronzers that go in that palette so we've got shade adoring amber which probably looks the most suited to my skin tone then we have rich rum which is very very dark almost like a purpley undertone then we have uh, peanut passion which again is quite a, a dark color and then we have truly tawny and that's what that one looks like there so that is so cute i'm just going to pop those in the pans i'll pop that in the palette so we can see what it looks like okay so i've just popped those in the palette and i think these two at the top will be the most suited for my skin tone but they'd also make really beautiful eyeshadows as well really happy with that again a brand new product that i've not seen before so yeah and they do look really pretty they feel really nice and buttery really pigmented i just swatched that a couple like i just ran my finger around that twice that's a burn by the way <laughs> but my uh hand cooking the other day but yeah really nice and pigmented so really excited to give that a go i really do love a bronzer and what a cute little palette that is okay and then the next we have three loose pigments um honestly loose pigments aren't my favorite i just they're just too messy for me i just can't be asked so i'll probably pass these along or sell them or something like that um i can't bloody get in there so the first one is in fairy dust this is fairy dust again as always packaging is super adorable sealed i don't want to unseal them because i'm not going to keep them but we want to see what they look like don't we wow so it's like a beautiful green color can you see really pretty the next one that we have is coral candy i just accidentally popped that inwards and it's gone absolutely everywhere but it's a really beautiful like <laughs> fuck it it's everywhere now might as well oh that's a really pretty sort of goldy pink i don't know if you're gonna be able to see really pretty goldy pink color can you see it's absolutely everywhere i've just got it all over me gonna be finding that for days brilliant one thing i do like using pigments on is like over the top of my nails so i could keep them for that anyway i just don't really use them on my face because they are so messy and honestly i just don't do that fun makeup anymore 
I need to get back into being more creative with my makeup. So the next, last one that we have is Magic Wings. Fucked it already. Wow. Oh my god, that colour is stunning. That is absolutely beautiful, that last one. A really beautiful, vibrant purple. I don't think the camera is going to be picking that up, but it's like a stunning purple with a pink and blue sort of hint in it. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's got gold, green. Oh, it's really, really stunning, that one. So there's no doubt about it, those are absolutely beautiful colours. Really nice mixture of colours there as well. So that is everything in the box. And honestly, like, I, I understand that you know she's always putting newness in here and for 30 pounds that is a bargain like i'm sure that palette alone like with all four colors in it would have been way more than 30 pound it's not the funniest box just because we've just got two different products do you know what i mean we've got a bronzing palette and three pigments which again aren't cheap really expensive definitely worth loads more than the 30 pounds that we've paid there's just not very much variety whereas in the other boxes we have had a lot of variety but that being said you know she mixes it up every month and she always puts newness in there so you can't expect like everything every month because otherwise you'll end up with so many duplicates if that makes sense and i'm glad that we're not always getting the paints because i don't really use those either so i am really really happy with everything we've got just potentially not the most exciting box that we've ever received but definitely worth the value in my opinion but i'd love to know your thoughts as always and if you got this box did you get the same colors as me or is there a different variety out there i always love to know that as well but thank you so much for watching guys really do appreciate it and i look forward to seeing the next one bye